Hi there and welcome to our next video on truncation. In this video we're going to be looking at what truncation is and some examples to test our understanding on this topic. So first of all, truncation is a way to approximate a number without rounding it. And you always round down at the given unit. So for example, if we have this number over here, truncate 3.14159265 to 4 decimal places, truncation um, means that you literally just cut it off so we get to the fourth decimal place and slice the rest of it off so our answer would be 3.1415 we don't need to round any number we would just need to cut it off example 2 over here 782.9 to the nearest whole number you literally just slice it off after the 2 so we put a line and then we take everything after the decimal point out so our answer is 782 similarly over here to this to four decimal places well one decimal place two decimal place three decimal place four decimal place then we put a line over here and chop off everything after here so we would be left with 423.2813 over here to one decimal place we go to one decimal place we draw a line and slice off everything else over here to the nearest whole number, we go to the decimal point, we put a line and everything after the decimal point we slice off, our number would be 123. And finally, to the hundreds, we go to the hundreds, 239, we draw a line after it and we cross out everything over there. But we need to always remember that we have to put on our placeholders. So we did it to the hundreds, so we're just left with 239. But that's not a good number because we're looking at 23,000. So we need to put on our placeholders. Over here, it says, what is the error interval of 24.13 truncated to two decimal places? So we've looked at error intervals before and it's the same technique over here. We have the lower bound. And we have the upper bound over here. And we have, let's call this number uh, y. So we have y, and then we have our signs, the same as normal. And we know that y over here is 24.13. So what would be the lower bound if we're truncating the number? Well, if we're truncating the number, then the lower bound would be the number itself. Because it can be 24.13 and the numbers after it. But if it's 24.12, then it would be something else. It would be a different number. And the upper bound would be something. It has to be strictly less than. It would be 24.14. And that would be our error interval. Over here, the error interval for this would be 14.745 is smaller than or equal to x, which is, strict, uh, which is strictly smaller than 14.746. Why is it like this? Well, we have our lower bound over here. We have our lower bound over here and we have our upper bound over here and we've named x as our number x is 14.745 and we know we're truncating the number so it has to be the same lower bound the same as the number and one more for the upper bound in the description box below there's a link to a quiz which you can have a go at. In our next video we're going to be having a look at some exam questions to do with truncation but for now that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.